Okay, here is the second part of the video. And I purposely didn't film this all together because I thought there would be questions. And sometimes when I get in the zone, as you know, um, I just, just do it and I forget to say what I've used and alternatives and things like that. So um, I'm going to show these today. But before I do those, I'm going to do a version of these with just acrylic paints, which I'll go through that in a minute. Firstly, I didn't tell anybody what paper pad I used from Tim Holtz on the other ones. And it is Memorandums. Okay, that was that. Nor did I say the name of the die. Sorry, go and get it. Just used it. Yeah, and I was very fortunate that they had an 80% sale. I think it was after Christmas. I honestly can't remember. I bought two of these. I bought... Um, a library card pocket thing and honestly they were all under 20 quid and i couldn't believe it someone said this is more like 80 now which oh my gosh you know yes that's not. but if you've got a die cutting machine or a friend who's got a die cutting machine <laughs> then you know they can cut some numbers out for you and this is vintage market is the one i used here okay the tim holtz it's six five eight seven seven two vintage market okay yes i did have a look yesterday and i think it was like 70 or 80 pounds so yeah i was very very fortunate so sorry about that folks but um if you sign up to no the problem oh siri go away <laughs> siri sometimes picks me up i don't know why that happens but um yeah, if you sign up for their newsletter, they let you know when they have a sale. And it was an absolute amazing sale. So that's why I got them. Because I would not pay £80 because I have a cutting machine and I can actually do them. But myself, but no, not the same font, of course. But anyway. So what I'm going to do is we shall... The other... Yeah, the other thing was that people didn't have the rust paste and things like that. No, okay, I understand that. So I'm going to give it a go with acrylics. Um, I must admit, this feels and looks like rust. Okay, um, I would suggest with the acrylic, you put a bit of sand in it, okay, to get that, that feel. But I haven't got any um, handy, unless I go to the beach and I'm not going there. <laughs> it's not fine enough well that is actually but um i i'm gonna give it a go with some very old 3d dental paste texture paste okay you could do it most probably with heavy gloss medium or heavy gesso and things like that with a bit again with a bit of um sand in it this is quite gritty and i really don't like it so i uh, yeah it's horrible stuff and it takes a while to dry as well but i thought i was going to use it i thought i'd use it just to see okay so let's get something to lean on um when i do these i the top one uh, the, the bottom one i cut out of anything cereal packets anything the top one i like to cut out of cardboard okay because it's textured right i'm sorry if you haven't got cardboard cardboard in the us someone did say that you don't get much cardboard we have loads in this country you know everything comes in cardboard boxes <laughs> so you know it's about three layers there and it's just got a lot of texture on the top not so much after putting it through the cut die cutting machine but enough it still picks up you can still see it here those lines there and it all adds to it i think so that one goes on the top so i'm only going to decorate that one Okay, and the colours, right, I've picked, I'm not sure I'll use all of these at all, but I'm just going by the colours of what's in here, okay, so definitely like a bronze or a gold, so that's acrylic, and that's, that's a gold, um, that one's just burnt sienna, 
which I'm going to use some of that on these ones later. Right, the green that I used here and there. Okay, it's not going to be sparkly, but you could put mica powder in it if you got if if you got some. If not, then I'm going to try it without. Yeah, and I chose chromium oxide green. Okay, for some reason tones right on here it might not be right on here not sure yet i've got this orange yellow that i thought was quite nice okay um and then burnt sienna which again i use that on those other ones um raw umber is the dark brown which is very important okay that's this sort of color here yeah and then i got this one as well which is Venice, Venice yellow, sorry, Venice. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, Venice yellow. Okay. And some bronze and gold. Anyway, just give it a go. I'm only doing one because it's just a little experiment. People were asking, you know, what they could use as an alternative. And I do like to do, show you that. So right, we shall see. Okay. I'm just going to put a bit on like that. It might match it. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's a fantastic color. So what was that? That was that Venice ye um, yellow. That is like mustard, like a mustard colour. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to put the texture paste on one night. Silly me. Oh, I'll do it in a minute. Let's get that on. So ignore that bit. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> Let's put a bit of this on. Oh, it's... it's I think, do you know, I've had this 20 years. I never liked it. So it, I think it's actually gone, to be honest. <laughs> I expect I could find something to mix with it. But what I'm doing is just roughing it up. Like, so I haven't got any sand. I'll just do that. Just to create a bit of texture. Because rust can do that, can't it? Yeah, it's gone, really. Never mind. It's, it's like putty now. <laughs> so I'm going to do it with my finger. And I'm sort of dabbing to create a bit of something going on, yeah? Don't want it too thick because it'll take too long to dry. It's just like putty. It's used on windows in here in this country. I don't know whether you have it. Well, you will have the equivalent, but it might not be called putty. Right. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, so I've just sort of by doing it, dabbing it, I've created a bit of texture. All right. That's gross stuff. Yeah, I had it a very long time. All right, let's get rid of that. That's why I thought I'd use that because it's all nice and cloggy. Right, I'm going to dry it off and then I'll be back. Okay, I put it on a white piece of card because you couldn't really see, see it with that. Okay. Right, yeah, that's all sort of rough and yeah, it's great. So let's start again. Actually, I've got enough on that. Start again. I'm just going to have to 
have a bit of dark on that to cover that texture paste so Okay. I think I better clean up my brush. And then burnt sienna. This is my favourite. So to get a good tone, I might have to go in with it. Still a bit more yellow in a minute. Might need a bit more depth to that colour, even though it's lovely. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of orange with that. I'll mix that together. I reckon. There's a little bit too orange. So I have to hold it away from me a minute because I'm staring at it. That's coming on. Just putting the green on. Like I done, you know, the, what's it? Nature's Remedies cover. You know, you can put your green in. Yeah. And then you just go over the top a little bit. Still leave bits of green around. Okay. I think I might have... Just a little bit green up there, like that, and then click over it. Got a fly in here. Okay, I'm liking that. But I want a bit of dark. Okay. fine okay which you know if you have a have your palette you <laughs> do loads but i'm just showing you one because i've done quite a few haven't i just as an alternative right okay let's get that out of the way okay am i do it your rag i'll keep that there for this i'm gonna get it dry Right, 
I'm actually really, really happy with that. Okay. That's the one with the paste. And that's that one. Okay. Now, if I put gilding wax straight on the top of that, okay, that will be perfect. But before I do that, I'm going to try a little bit of the bronze. It might not. Oh, I the gold will work. It's not thick enough. Do you know what I mean? Not really. But you never know. Let's have a go. Gold might work. Just to sort of rub over the surface a bit. Just It just sort of binds it up, really. But you wait until I, you know, when I do the gold, the gilding wax. Well, actually, that's not bad at all. But you just need so much, so little. Okay. And then. there i don't know whether this will work on it it's quite runny this one but it's brilliant but it's runny I think that's enough. I just want to, sorry, I'm just seeing a little bit that I want to cover up. happy with that. I'm going to leave that. Give that a blast. Well, I think that is okay, even without the gilding wax, to be honest. I don't know. Let me get in shot. <laughs> I'm wandering again. So my hand back of my hand isn't flat. There we go. Well that's not too bad because I mean that'll dull down a bit. But I'm gonna put bronze gilding wax over the top now. But that was all just acrylics, which to be honest, you know it's fine. And a bit of texture paste. Like I say, if you put want to put sand in with your acrylic. Just mix a little bit up with a bit of sand or something like that. Just I didn't have any real good bronze. So this is going to go just a little bit around the outside. I, could, I'm, you know, I liked it before any of the bronze put on, but I just find sometimes it can look a bit dingy. But if you like that look, then that's cool too. So either or. See, that's just toned that gold down. It's definitely got plenty of texture on there. That was Pebio Gilding Max. I've got the gold, silver, and that again, I've had that a long time. It's the last few years. There. Now, I'm liking that. Okay, that's great. So let's do that one up, totally. Um, did I have... Oh, yeah, there we go. There. Bit of vellum. Or... Not vellum, you know what I mean. 
tracing paper. <laughs> and then we'll get on with the others. See, and you've got little dents here. Yeah, well, I, I leave them. I think they look good. Yeah. You know where we cut the shapes out. And another one here, look. I think that's great. Don't want to see the vellum there. Okay. Now I'm thinking that is looking pretty good. If anything, there's more texture. There we go. I'm liking it. But you'll find that the, the paint, the gold stuff does does after, overnight. Because I didn't put too much on that one, will you know, um, sort of tone down a bit. Okay, but yeah, and that's the other one. Okay, lovely. So that's that done. Okay, let's put all this away, and then I'll be back with the other ones. Well, not all of it. I can use that. Yep. Okay, so for these ones, okay, what I used was burnt umber, um, the gilding wax, bronze, okay, by Pebio, and this Buffet, okay, which is a really nice, rich colour, yeah, and it's quite nice because this is what gives the metal sheen. Okay, because you can shine it up. Right, I will do a little experiment as well with one of them. With none of that, but just acrylic. I found a better um, bronze, or copper, sorry. I've got copper there, that's bronze. But then that might work as well, but it's not very thick, that one. This one I can apply with my finger. So anyway, we'll try. and see, see what it can. You're not going to get the sheen with it, I don't think, but we shall see what happens, see what it looks like. You never know. Oh, and um, what I do, the top layer here, I put through the embossing folder to give texture. If you haven't got any of them, then use your gritty sandy bit again, like I did on the other ones, okay, to give a bit of something going on. That's your best bet. The numbers, again, are from the die, but you could use funky foam ones. They're in the kids section. Hobby craft, um, you most probably got a kids section in the US, of course you have. And they, they got stick on funky foam or foam letters and numbers. They are great. Don't rely on the sticky back though. Always use glue. But anything. Or you've got them cardboard cutouts. So everybody, oh, I have, I've got some for scrapbooking years ago. We had all different, you know, chipboard things, cutouts. They would be all right fine so the top layer is that the bottom layer because i do two layers to make it nice and sturdy okay and i've for this these ones i've cut them two and a quarter by two and three quarters okay that's just the size i went by with that but again you do what you want what size you want really so the first thing you do is you of course you stick those down <laughs>
It might be better if I actually cut them the same length. <laughs> millimeter out there can't have that is just amaging packaging any thick card stock or thick scrapbooking paper whatever will do um i think i'll do one more actually did i oh they're in here two might as well they don't take very long, actually. Oh, Leanne's a soup. <laughs> That's a, a girl that, um, or a lady, I should say, works for me in the salon. And when I had my operation, you know, I had to eat soup for like a month. And um, she gave me she done me a load of soup up, <laughs> which was nice. I shoved it in the freezer. <laughs> That's about it. It's all I could eat. <laughs> I'm not worried about letting them dry because the first thing I do is you paint over all of them. Then this is for any of what you're doing, yeah. Just put a bit on there. But like I say, if you haven't got any texture, then add your texture. But I've got some, so that's fine. Actually, should have stuck the numbers on first. Never mind. See, I forgot already. I only done them yesterday. <laughs> Nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> it's like when somebody asks me what I've done, I'm thinking, I don't know who. <laughs> and then you have to go and look at your own video. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's what I've done. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm going to put the glue the numbers on those <laughs> a bit daft you don't need to do all of it right the numbers um if it's if you've got thick cardboard okay then you only need one layer but if you've got thin cardboard like that one's like four layers you can um just put two together It doesn't matter if glue oozes out, anything, nothing, because it all gets covered over. Okay, that one's nicely raised. Let's do one where I've got to double it, which is that one. I think. Yeah, that's a bit thin. Well, that's weird. No, same machine. Look at that difference. 
That's all right. Yeah, that's, I don't know, that's, that's a bit creep, that bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so why it's best to stick these down first, because you only got to wait for that to dry and then do it again, so, which is a bit silly. Right, we've got any thick ones, they're all a bit thin. Uh, that is so weird. That should do that. Do you know what? I'm really not happy with that. Okay, um, it might. That's weird. Okay. Why would that be smaller? Oh well. Unless I went over it twice and cut a bit more off. Here we go. Um, five. Three, two. I need some. Sorry, these are all a bit thin, so I need two layers. Okay, make sure you get in all the crevices there. You can get your kids painting these. <laughs> yeah, brown paint everywhere. <laughs> I think the worst thing I ever done was that um like dough stuff that used to oh that went in the carpet, it got treaded in the carpet. Oh play dough, that was it. Oh that was my worst. Literally, I think I actually ripped the carpet up after that. It got like, I don't know, trodden in and it, oh, disgusting. Yeah, I've got wood floors now. <laughs> that was good. It happened actually because I might not have ended up with my wood floors. <laughs> I don't do it perfectly at the back. I quite like seeing that through. Okay. I don't think I've done these. Oh no, I had it, um, it was on bits of it. I did do it, but I've done it a different colour, that one. I did use this colour on them though, on the front. Wait for those to dry. Okay, I've taken one away because that's the one I'm going to do with the paint. All right, later on. Oh, I might need that, yeah. Because sometimes I'll, I'll put it on and then I'll go over the top of that as well. Okay, and I'm going to use a bit of this. Rub it and buff it. You can put it on with a cloth if you so wish. But I like my finger. 
Okay. You see where I put too much on there? Then I go in with brown after. Just to break that up. Try and get a bit in there. So. This layer. A little bit of this as well. Actually, I'll do that first. This is so to correct that. Okay, you get your little brush. I don't want it dry. Okay. And you can go back in over that, like so. You create a blob. Okay, we'll just leave that. And then we'll go back in in a minute with the stuff. And it cracks it. Okay. So I'll leave that one alone while that's drying. And then and the art really is not to have too much on your finger, but I'm a bit impatient. <laughs> I'm not, but I just like to do things quick, especially on camera, because I think, oh gosh, you're watching for so long. Me enjoying myself. <laughs> right. Now I quite like the way this is going here. That's a little bit too much brown in here. So I get my little brush again with that on and I'll just go in, in there. Yeah, tone that down a bit. Okay, I like that. Let's carry on. Same again, the brush. I'm just get in there a bit. Again, let's cut the places there that I think it's a little bit blobby. So I'll just put that there and that there. I'll go over it again. That's just the first layer. I like to put the top on those. Okay, let's do those. That's right, let's do this one. No two are ever going to be the same, really not. I'm like that actually. I'm going to leave that one for a minute. Okay. No, that's still wet, but I don't mind. I see them coming on now. Always make sure you go around the edges. Doesn't matter so much there. Like, yeah, look, that is cool. <laughs> just, just put a bit on there off my finger, look.
Okay, then the top layer is a little bit of this because I know it shines up. That, that most probably does shine up too, but I know this does. So I now am careful that I just add a little bit more of that. Okay, that's those done. Set for with a dry cloth, making them shiny. Let's put that away a minute, and then we'll concentrate on that one. See what we can do. If it doesn't work, then we just cover it with that. <laughs> um, oh, I can't see. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Okay, nice soft cloth. Do a dry wet wipe, if you know what I mean. It just as long as it's soft. And then you buff up. Didn't put any on there. Just handy if you dam them, um, dangle them. If you make them into dangles, but if you stick them down, it doesn't really matter. Used to um, use this years ago. I had little tubes of it. Mum went hard though. <laughs> I bought this that rubber that buffet at the show. I think last not this September um, last September because did we have it this year? No, I went in September, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. It won't be the. I doubt if it'll be on this year. That's what I was thinking about. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. No, I have got no sense of time at the moment at all. Just really weird. Mind you, I wouldn't write up the time before. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't even know what month it was. Oh. Okay. Um, not just those, I think. There we go, and that was yesterday. And that was all different shapes there, but because I was just playing around, but I've done all perfect shapes <laughs> this time. <laughs> there we go. And again, those were done yesterday, so they've toned down a bit, so there we go. There you see, they're all nice and shiny. Yeah, so they are quite quick. You could do loads of them up, couldn't you? So, and they're all nice and light. So, yeah, lovely. Okay, those are there. And well, let's have a go at this one then. <laughs> Wish me luck. Right, let's see what I've got. I think I've got 
use that. It might not work at all, so. You're definitely not gonna buff up like that shiny. You're definitely not. No. Anyway, I'm gonna do this first. Let's get that layer on. We shall see what happens. Sorry, I want some of the <laughs> I expect this really good acrylic paint that's got, you know, really good sort of metallic gold. I don't tell them. Hold on a minute. Just thought of something. <laughs> See, I actually forgot I had the metallics from Artesia. But I had to come find the bronze though. I will say. So I'm going to put some of that on. That's a nice, well, that was a better gold. All right, so we'll look at this bronze then. Nice and thick anyway. <laughs> oh, that's, it's got a bit of substance to it. The copper is really good. I find the gold's a bit yellow, but but we can tone that yellow down, as you know. So shall we wait till the end? This is definitely good. Look how much cover. That covers like that. I'm gonna mix. That's pretty good. The different layers gives a different, you know, it gets into the grooves like that gold did there. I'm just going to give that a dry. They're contaminating a bit now, so I'll just give you a point up. If you have direct 
um, heat onto acrylic, it peels. Yeah, it bubbles. Well, I actually like that. Okay, because again, it gives a bit of texture. Okay, and especially on things like this, that's you know, there's a little bit here that's quite flat. So I'm actually over directing it just to get a few bubbles going on. To mix that one a little bit because had some oil with that. That's like, that's like a paint thinner in that. So. Just mix that. I'm gonna go in there a bit. Okay. And the brown over the top of it just dulls it down in those areas that we want a bit depth. Yeah, even though I want it in there, I need a little bit darker around the actual edges. Because if you notice on anything metal, it always collects around a raised bit like it gets, because dirt gets in there, doesn't it? You know, so you, you look at your bra brasses and Like get this one's with paint, you know, we're not. So it's all right. You'll get away with that. Right, okay. I think that's all right. I'm going to leave it alone now. It can go on forever, can't you? think, oh, yeah, I'll just do that bit. I'll just do this bit. But I shall let it dry. Oops. It's all right. Spread that out. <laughs> it's quite handy doing all this in the morning because then I can go and wash my hands for lunch and I'm semi-clean when I come back. <laughs> right, let's give it a dry. It's actually quite shiny, so I, I mean, it's not going to buff up like the other because it's a wax, isn't it, the other thing, but... I'm just, I feel as though I need to do it. If I had a dry one. There we go. <laughs> but, you know, it really isn't. Right, okay, let's get comparison. If anything, the, the brown is kept in there better. Yeah. But that might have been me just, you know, mixing it too much. But that's the one with just acrylics. Haven't touched it with anything else. And that's the other one. Okay. Well, that ain't bad, is it? So just with metallic, metallic acrylics. Okay. And you see, you know, a bit of texture with the bubbles on there. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I think it's good to use an alternative, you know, because like not everybody got all these products. And, but as you know, acrylics are already available. Yeah. So you're always best to, if you buy an acrylics, you know, and you haven't got a lot of money, you, you need to just get your primary colors yeah and which is which i should know <laughs> red yellow and blue okay if you've got those three colors and black and white you can mix any color of the rainbow okay and then if you mix all your primary colors together it makes brown yeah so, which if you haven't got your black you can use a brown to dole down other colors but red yellow blue then you get after that get some metallics a gold and a bronze and maybe a silver you know so that you can play and look what you can achieve 
you know that was that was metal effect wasn't it and you can imagine getting um you know like gun metal with silver and black i mean you could, i tell you what you could do some good results and that is literally acrylics which are already available and fairly reasonable okay um yeah and black and white always important yeah for mixing and lightning and that sort of thing but that's all you need okay well thank you very much for watching i should have kept all those there shouldn't i so looking at those that nice palette there <laughs> there we go look at them all aren't they lovely okay now they're all muddled up now you can, right you cannot tell really which one I done with acrylic paint so that is quite amazing okay right thanks everybody and I'll speak to you soon bye